I have arrived here at Indonesia and Jakarta. I just took an hour and a half flight from Singapore and I am going to catch a train to get to my accommodation. So I'll see you guys there. I just need to take four stops, which is just a 20 minutes ride to get to my accommodation. Kind of doesn't make sense to me because when I check on Google, it shows 3,500 rupiahs. I have other options which could possibly be walking or grab. High chance I'm gonna get a grab, man. It's half the price. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yes. How much will it cost to actually take the public bus to actually go there? Maybe you can take the Transjakarta. Uh huh. It's around 5,000. So this is your first day? It's my first time here in first Indonesia. Time. Yeah, my first day, first time <laughs> here in Indonesia. Because I'm here to actually play Pokemon Go <laughs> and uh, visit Pokemon Go communities. That's yeah. funny. My, my <laughs> friends go to Singapore to play Pokemon Go. And <laughs> For the event, right? <laughs> Safari, the Safari Zone event, Sentosa? Yeah. Uh -huh. In April, yeah. So they just yeah. came over and that's why I'm here to visit them. So well, I made it to my accommodation, but there's a raid. There's a Kyogre raid right now. And I'm trying to rush there. Well, the Kyogre just hatched. I'm not sure if there's anybody there. I know the screen is bobbing up and down a lot, but I'm trying to run and try to maintain my composure while talking to you guys. Hopefully I don't faint. Yeah, bad news. The network is even dead here. <laughs> Can't even spin the pokey stops. I wonder if there's anybody there actually. Yeah, at this hour of the day. But to be honest, it really doesn't matter because I can't even log in right now. I don't see anybody. Yeah, that's kind of sad. So I basically had a quick late lunch and I was so hungry that I couldn't even show you guys what I ate. Actually I did, but not tell you guys what I ate. I basically ate rice with potato and prawns and some beans. Yeah, you guys can see that the network here is not that good and uh, hopefully it will get better tomorrow when I go for the tournament at the mall, which is actually pretty far away from here. It's an hour's drive according to my Grab driver. Yeah, who was pretty knowledgeable and told me like a lot of uh, good places to actually go to but I don't think I need to do that. Neither do I need to, I, neither can I go for that because uh, yeah, I have more important things to do, right? Oh well, you know what, I thought I was gonna just take a nap, nap became <laughs> from an hour to three hours. <sighs> yeah. Let's go. So well, I left my accommodation, walked for 10 minutes, and I saw that there's a raid here. But I'm not going for that. I'm gonna go for this raid here, which hatches in eight minutes. See if I can make it all the way there. 
provided the network doesn't uh, screw up, but yeah. Okay. Eight minutes to hatch. Let's get moving. Oh my god. I'm not sure if I can enter. I don't want to risk it. Please don't tell me this is another place that I can't enter. Well, I see a car by the roadside stopping over there. I'm not sure if he or she is playing Pokemon Go or not. Let's go and check it out. Hi, you reading? Oh, Brenda, playing Pokemon. It's me. Yeah, I'm Oh my god! I wanted to go there to see if there, there were people. Oh. There was another raid that was hacked, that just hatched, right? Mm. And but that was in like a uh, restricted area, right? Yeah, I went there and I was like, "Double Oil Company, right? Petroleum or something." Oh, oh! I went to the raid. Three minutes late. <laughs> but I realized that it was restricted area. I was like, <laughs> okay, never mind. Then let's try the other race. And see. Oh, you, you two are there. Okay, two. So I'm gonna pump up this uh, Mewtwo and give it to Vivi. So it's actually a Shadow Ball Mewtwo, and I'm gonna max it out and uh, give it to her. Almost maxing out the Mewtwo. Just uh, one more power up. Yeah. And also unlocking the second charge move. Oh yeah. So Mewtwo with uh, Shadow Ball and Focus Blast. Can use for PvP. Yeah. So I'm gonna trade this to VV. Provided the network is good. Come on, network. And now, now her network has problem. So guys, if you want to come to Indonesia, just be wary of the network. Yeah. Uh, Singapore is better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so fully maxed out. Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, Mewtwo. Okay. Yeah. Alright, bye Mewtwo. Enjoy your time with VV. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, anyway, I'm back to my accommodation, and that was VV. VV, who is the organizer for tomorrow's tournament, PvP tournament, in fact. And it's going to be a 400 and almost 50 people tournament which is pretty insane if you think about it considering the fact that she's actually part of the club 40 indonesia and i'm gonna see all of them tomorrow hopefully you know things wouldn't get so hectic but vivi has already told me that there's gonna be local press and media that's gonna cover the whole entire event together with a press conference that's gonna happen in the morning at 9 a.m so i need to get to bed because it's gonna be an hour's travel to get there and she actually asked me to be there at around 8-ish so yeah I need to go and sleep now because I need to wake up at around 6.45 to prepare yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow actually you know what not tomorrow but now good morning it's time for PvP so yeah it's 7 a.m. in the morning I'm gonna make my way to this mall called Sumaricon Mall at Sepong and that's where the PvP tournament is going to be held with more than 400 participants that's going to be competing it's going to be crazy it's going to be exciting and also at the same time it's going to be a hectic day for me because there's quite a few things in stock for me um, organized by Vivi so I'm gonna see how it goes let's go there all right guys so I'm in the car with Chris say hi Hello. yeah <laughs> so we are heading towards the what mall is it called? SMS, Sumaracon Mall Sepong. So yeah, we drove around half an hour to get from wherever we were to here. And yeah, I'm going to have breakfast together with Chris. And yeah, he gave me some really interesting insight to how the community here works as a whole. And gave me a lot of uh, useful information so that I could progress through my trip here in Indonesia. Yeah, next stop is going to be Bandung. So I'll see you guys at Bandung. He also gave me a lot of information about today's PvP tournament, which is actually organized by the Club 40 Indonesia and also VV, telling me how much effort has gone through to actually organize this 400 participants tournament. So we're gonna see how it goes after breakfast, I guess.
Yes. Yeah, that's what we want. All right, really good morning to all of you. Say hi. 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 So, you know, I actually felt so mentally drained yesterday after the PVP tournament with 280 people and today we are going to... Raid! Yeah! We're gonna raid, we're gonna raid Kyogre the whole day until the last raid until 9.20 or 9.30 here in Jakarta and we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully one of us could get a 100% shiny. Yeah! yeah. I, think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be Vivi because she has... She has 500% Kyogre's already, but hopefully she can get her number 6. But anyway, we're gonna see how it goes. Hopefully one of us get 100% or in fact a shiny or perhaps even a Hando shiny. Let's go! Go! Oh! You wanna attach your camera? Right now on the screen. Oh, oh, I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know start already. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even tapping. Oh my god, what, what, what a noob. <laughs> Lost 10 seconds of damage. <laughs> any hundred, two, three, four. Any hundred, any shiny? Hey, shiny, yes. Oh. Who's shiny? Oh, yeah. See, I told you, Vivi is going to be the first one to get shiny. Oh my god. Vivi, first one shiny. Oh my yeah. god. Now, now she needs to get the handle shiny. Handle <laughs> shiny. Guys, go to play games. What? 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 Oh my god! Oh, Muzu! Muzu got 100%! You got 100% and a shiny in the car right now! Oh my god, like really? Muzu! <laughs> okay, first raid of the day! Cool! <laughs> you don't drive off? Drive off? Yeah. Then we go. Oh, no, no, no. Usually, no. usually you can't. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So today is going to be a pretty yeah. chill day for me. In fact, Especially for all of us. Especially when uh, one of us got 100%. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one I will need to stop. Yeah. So we are going to play at a pretty slow pace today. I mean, <laughs> for my standards. But it's cool. You know, as long as we are having fun. Right guys? Right! Yeah. <laughs> Why is the National Monument so proud of you? Yeah, mm, the governor helped like um, free Entry for all for, for, for uh, help the feast. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think the governor helped uh, some event in, uh, in the monastery. Okay. 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 And okay. here in, uh, in Jakarta and in Indonesia, yep. they are like to attend the governor's uh, event because there are many freebies. Oh, I see. I see. So today is known as Jakarta Day. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think some kind of a Jakarta Day. I see. Okay. So that's why the traffic is so crazy today. Yes. And uh, well, uh, I hope we can make it to this Kyogre <laughs> raid with 33 minutes left. <laughs> Let's walk there, guys. Can I smoke the mask? In! Who's the one? 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 So we're gonna do a special trade now. You'll be an unknown for a level 15 ho -oh. Not too sure if you guys know though, but I'm trying to get a ho -oh for Great League. No, no, you don't. Oh, but he doesn't have it. All right, so I'm gonna give him my last question mark unknown from Chicago. Not too sure when they're gonna have another event to have unknown question mark spawn though, but hopefully it's gonna be soon. Maybe in Singapore. Alright guys, we're going to be stuck in traffic, so, um, might as well, right? Hmm? Huh? We're going to be stuck in traffic, so yeah. might as well just put a Leo, right? <laughs> Alright guys, let's uh, you sure? catch the Pokemon here, yeah. yeah, come on. Mongo <laughs> Alor. Yeah. What's your plan? Stop. You too. Oh, post close, post close. Post close, yeah. Post close, yeah. Oh, I'm going to Oh, stop, stop, stop attacking, stop attacking. Okay. Wait okay. for them to enter. Alright. So what's going on right now is because there was supposed to be a th 13 of us in the raid but there's only 9 of us so 4 of them got 
knocked out because of the network issue. So we have all stopped tapping the screen. They could get back into the raid to actually get the reward. This is what we normally do. See? No damage is being done, but the timer is just going down. Our right coast just got knocked out. Yeah. Go, go, go. All right. All right. Yeah, so like I say, you know, the network had some issues and uh, some of them got kicked out, so we all stopped attacking. That's why we took it down with 30 seconds left. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Teamwork. This is what we call teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork. Yeah. 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 Shake, 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 he is not playing the game at all, right? Yep. Yeah. So, Vivi, yes. could you explain how is he doing it? He's not playing the game, but how are you guys like giving him directions to go Just to the Just mention rate? the name of the gym. <laughs> so, he kind of knows like where to go. Like, look, he's not even playing the game. He does not have a GPS running. But the GPS is basically running through his brain. Yeah. yeah. And he knows where to go. It's like as if there's a Pogo map in his brain. I don't even I don't even think I can do that, man, in Singapore. Okay, maybe not in Singapore, but maybe you know somewhere else that I've not played before. But it's really impressive. It is. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, if you count the number of gyms that is around us right now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 is still a good number. Yeah. Jakarta. So yeah, we're gonna have a quick lunch here at Yoshinoya. And we're gonna continue the raid after that. And we're gonna see how it's gonna go. It's pretty fun so far, you know. It's not a matter of how many raids we do, but it's the amount of fun we actually have in the van and the car. That's all that matters. We actually did like, I think five or six raids. I don't even bother to count it at all because we're having so much fun, you know, like laughing and joking and, you know, just playing the game as it is. As I always said, you know, if you are not having fun playing the game, then maybe you should change your game up. Which was happening when I was in Singapore. You know, I didn't have so much fun as I am right now here in uh, Jakarta. So, hopefully, you know, I'll have even more fun when I'm going to continue my journey in Indonesia. Let's go! Why? It is so expensive. $765,000. Oh my god. You can buy a house with this. You can buy a house with this in Singapore. Guess what? We just finished lunch and we're going to... Riding car. Yeah, we're going to race. So we have Ido who's joining us and Lisa who's also joining us. And yeah, we're going to continue the raid, right guys? Yeah! Alright, uh, 120. No, just kidding, I have a mission. <laughs> showcase to you guys in a couple of videos time so stay tuned for that if you want to learn how to do the freeze method for raiding but nevertheless let's catch this number six hundred percent Kyogre or maybe it's going to be or maybe it's going to run <laughs> no, no. Yeah. who knows run oops oopsie doopsie so long never catch Pokemon. I don't, even know, I don't even know how to catch a Kyogre anymore. Yeah. This is so stressful. Okay. Okay. Come on. Yeah! Do 
Indonesia. Yeah, Indonesia, Jakarta. Yes. All right, transfer. <laughs> anyway, this is basically the end for today. I'm gonna head back to my accommodation to rest. We did 29 raids today, right, guys? Yeah. 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 And we got a good number of shinies, and four of us in the car in the van got a hundred percent, but one ran. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Actually, not tomorrow, but like now. Well, after a long day of Kyogre raids, I'm finally back to my accommodation. And you know what? I can't talk really loudly because my other roommates are sleeping and I don't want to wake them up. And currently it's 10.45 p.m. So anyway, I'm just going to do a quick update on what happened today first of all um, let's look at my Kyogre account I started off with 1600 and I think 69 so basically we did a total of 29 Kyogre raids today of course um, you know me being me I didn't get a single shiny Kyogre at all today but today is the most number of Kyogres I think I've ever caught so yeah, this very last shiny Kyogre was caught back in Singapore just when uh, it was around the very last time but you guys know that I caught my 100% Kyogre Yeah! So, I'm considering to power it up not because I do not want to but because I don't need to because I do have this 98% powered up Kyogre already and it's just shiny of course So. You know, I'm not really sure if I want to power up another Kyogre or not to make 600% Kyogres. But if you guys want me to, well, you guys can comment down below to say max the Kyogre. And probably I'll do it in the next video. Okay? So, um, that's it for today. But that's not the end of the video because there's still going to be more raiding. And I'm going to see what we're going to get tomorrow too. And I'm very tired. I'm going to sleep and uh, rest up for today. A very good morning to all of you guys. It is currently day 4 for me here in Jakarta and it's actually the last day or so. So anyway, you know, you guys saw that I was raiding yesterday. I got my 100% Kyogre. But today I'm going to raid again with another group of awesome trainers. So we're going to see if I'm able to get myself another 100%. Though I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the 7th one. So I'm going to see how it goes. Alright, maybe today I'm going to finally get my shiny here in Jakarta. Let's go! Push this TV. Hmm. Isn't this a directory? How am I supposed to look for stuff if I'm unable to push it? Yeah, I need to look for food. I'm freaking hungry. Yeah. Christian, where are you? Hurry up. I'm dying. Well, maybe doing this will help Christian find me faster. Christian, I'm here. Come on, let's go for breakfast now, please. So yeah, finally we are going to eat breakfast. Yeah. You alright guys? Hi. Yeah. Christian, Hello. I waited for you for so long for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, I'm so hungry. Alright, let's go and eat now before we start raiding. Oh, alright. Blame this guy, blame this guy. Blame this guy? <laughs> yeah, I have to blame him more because we're still trading. Yeah, alright. Are you drooling? Huh? Are you drooling? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looking, looking at my stats while you drool. I'm drooling at the food only. Okay. All right, so we are starting the raid soon. In five seconds, our very first raid for today after having brunch, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, today I'm here with Hello. everyone in the car. Hello. Yeah, and also with Hello. Martin and. Chris, oh. so we're gonna do 10 raids today. That's all we're gonna do because uh, after doing 10 raids and we don't get a shiny, somebody's gonna get kicked out from the car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's 
go first rate. Yeah. Ho ho hopefully, I don't get a shiny at all. <laughs> no shiny. Huh? Shiny? Huh? No. No. Why? Yeah. Oh! 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 Oh, so it looks like he got his shiny. Chris got his shiny and uh, he's not going to get kicked out from the car. <laughs> yeah, he's safe. I'm safe. So we just finished dinner with a whole group of people, right Chris? Yes. But we are not done yet. We still got one more mission to do. Okay, Bibi. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you, you for so everything. Much. Thank you for your hospitality. Yeah. Thank you, Jakarta. <laughs> Thank you. Thank bye. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Harry Potter. Thank you, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boss. But, no. Thank driver, you. Driver. Driver. <laughs> Thank you, Vivi. I told yes. you I'm going to give you something special. Uh. Remember this. Hello. I'm going to give this to Vivi. Oh. You say you nice. wanted it, right? Yeah, yeah, I want yeah. this very much. Wow. Because uh, Glenn said that it's finished. Yeah, so yeah, that's no for more. you. So this is from Brandon. Thank Yay. you, Brandon. Right, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that's the end of my trip here in Jakarta. Thank you to all of you who actually came to say hi. And I need to watch my step, otherwise I may fall and die. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for Jakarta. I'm gonna go to Bandung. I know you guys can't see me, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. So I just left my accommodation here at Stay In Hostel and yeah, this uh, accommodation that I I was at for the last three or four nights, I can't remember, it's actually uh, pretty good, pretty cheap. It's actually $8.50 per night, Sing dollars, which essentially is like, I'm not sure uh, how cheap is that as compared to uh, you guys in America, but yeah, I'm actually uh, going to make my way towards Gambir station which is gonna be probably a half an hour walk from here walking through the National Monument as I need to catch my train to Bandung so that is pretty much the end for this trip here in Jakarta and I have to watch where I'm walking because the road is not exactly smooth but yeah I'm gonna go to Bandung hopefully I can see some of you guys there and if you guys haven't um, checked out my social media to see where I'm going to next well it's over here Instagram and Twitter follow them and you will be notified whenever I go to wherever you guys want me to go no, I'm just kidding I, I mean I need to plan where to go all right see you guys in the next vlog